In Libya, forces loyal to the unity government have reportedly advanced inside the ISIL stronghold in the city of Sirte. This follows U.S. airstrikes and militants positions on Monday. The pro-government forces say they've seized the central district of al Dola, but five soldiers have been killed and 17 wounded in the clashes. The government has been battling to reclaim the ISIL stronghold since May. The militants still control several strategic sites in Sirte, including the university, the main hospital and a conference hall. The U.S. says the Libyan government asked it to intervene in search. The Presidential Council and the top commander of the army has decided to request direct support from the United States to carry out targeted airstrikes on positions of ISIL in Sirta and its suburbs in direct coordination with the Presidential Council and the military command. These strikes were authorized by the President following a recommendation from Secretary Carter and Chairman Dunford. They are consistent with our approach of combating uh, ISIL by working with capable and motivated local partners. Let's get more now from CCTV's Andrea Arenas, who now joins us live from Washington, D.C. Andres, the Pentagon says the airstrikes hit precision targets. Do we know what and how many specific targets were hit? Right, for the time being, uh, the Pentagon has confirmed that they are uh, targeting these precision targets. As they say, basically it comes down to very specific areas that uh, the, the Libyan government has needed help with because most of these are surrounded by civilians. Now, as uh, in regards to Monday's uh, uh, airstrikes, we're talking about the first one of them, which included a tank location, um, and the second set of strikes was able to target two ISIS vehicles. The U.S. Department of Defense has said that this is the first uh, strike of an ongoing operation in CERT. And the, also, it's important to note that this is the third strike that the United States carries out in uh, Libya against ISIL. Um, the previous two uh, were mostly um, uh, just standalone strikes, but this one is important and it stands out because it is a part of an outgoing, ongoing uh, operation with the Libyan government. These are the strikes that have taken uh, place so far, and uh, the U.S. Department of Defense has also confirmed that they are using both uh, manned warplanes as well as drone technology to do this. So it appears the U.S. has formally started a sustained air campaign to end ISIL's capabilities on the ground. How long is this campaign expected to last? Um, so the Pentagon held a press conference uh, where the press secretary, Mr. Peter Cook, specified that for the time being there is no end point or particular timeline. They have said that they are working in constant coordination with uh, the Libyan government, assessing what are going to be the future strikes and when these will be, but they don't even, uh, they can't even tell us when these will take place. So it's an ongoing coordination uh, process. They say that they hope it doesn't become a lengthy one. Um, and uh, well, they don't have a, a timeline, and they were not also uh, they were not able to specify when they started these discussions with the Libyan government. We don't know for how long they have been talking about these uh, potential targets and, and strikes uh, against ISIL. Now, Washington says the airstrikes followed a request from the Libyan government. Are there concerns there that the UN-backed government has not yet mustered full support across Libya, and hence the U.S. could end up being viewed as acting in support of one of many factions? Well, the United States could definitely be concerned about this just because they do not want to create any further uh, factionalism in the region. Libya has already uh, been, been tormented or seen many factions of a government, and this is not something that is within uh, the United States and the United States military best interest. What Washington wants right now is to support a government that is capable and willing to fight against ISIL and defeat, potentially defeat ISIL. So uh, gaining a reputation that they might be supporting one side or another is definitely not within Washington's 
best interest. However, they have at all times been very adamant and uh, reiterated how they are supporting and that they are supporting the government of national accord and that they will continue to do so and they will coordinate future airstrikes and be there if they are required, uh, if the United States is required uh, to assist and help and help the government of national accord. All right, let's leave it there for now. Andrea Arena is joining us live from Washington. Many thanks. Well, let's get more insights on this from Professor Mohammed Hussein from the Faculty of Political Science, Cairo University. Uh, Professor, Western officials say ISIL's numbers, previously estimated at around 6,000, are declining in the face of concerted government action and pressure from other militias. So why this air strikes necessary? Well, the ISIL uh, numbers are declining, yes, but their danger is not declining yet. So I think the American interference is going to put an end to ISIL encroachment on the uh, civilian population there. The problem with the American intervention is that they should not exceed the limit and to go and uh, destroy civilians or civilian establishments. I believe that the Americans are a little bit arrogant and they think they can uh, do some surgical air attacks. So the air strikes in Libya, should they be, should uh, they, uh, be uh, surgical enough in order to be precise, fast and efficient? They should not exceed the limit by destroying establishments or killing civilians or doing what is not necessary to do in, on the Libyan soil. Well, Professor, the wider military and militia forces in Libya are still embroiled in local rivalry. So in the aftermath of campaigns of this kind, how will stability in the country be achieved? Well, stability could be achieved uh, through the existence of the American forces, which are coming to help uh, through the air, uh, air strikes or air attacks to help the uh, government of national accord. Unlike the French uh, intervention, which was uh, helping uh, General Haftar or some other factions in uh, Libya, the American forces are there on the invitation of the, um, uh, of the government of national accord. Secondly, they are assigned to a specific uh, mission which they should not exceed and uh, they came on the condition that they should not go outside cert in order not to spoil uh, the cake as they, as they should say. All right, Professor Mohammed Hussein, thanks very much for those insights.